you just modified your car and now you got some parts laying around. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to sell these parts and get the most for your money so that you can move on to that next modification you know you've been wanting to do. Let's do this. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is lay the kit out to ensure that you have all the parts that originally came with the kit that you purchased. You wanna make sure you're reselling it to the best of your ability to match whatever is being sold online because that's gonna be your competitor. The next step is to clean the parts as best as possible. You have to remember, online, you're selling against brand new parts, so they look as shiny as possible. You wanna do the same with these. Clean them up real nicely so the potential purchaser sees them and doesn't go, oh, they're rough, I'm not gonna purchase those. They wanna be able to look at them and go, man, those things look almost new. So this is what we're gonna do next, clean the parts. Typically, soap and water will do the trick. Now that your parts are clean and looking good, it's time to take pictures so that you can post them online. A couple of quick tips is one, make a sign. Put your name on it, the date that you're starting to sell them on, and maybe a little note at the bottom so that whoever's buying them will want to buy me now. <laughs> and the reason why you wanna do that is so that the purchaser knows that these parts are yours, you own them, you have them in hand, and you're ready to sell them today. The second tip that I can give you is to take your own photos. The reason behind this is because the person that's gonna be purchasing your parts wanna know exactly what condition they're in when they're gonna receive them. If you use a stock photo online from, let's say, the website you purchased the parts from, the, the user is not gonna know that what condition their parts are in and they get a little skeptic of it. So when you take your own photos, it just reassures them that the parts they're purchasing look good, they're in working order, and they can see exactly how they're gonna come when they receive them. Today's cell phones have a good enough camera to take photos and give an accurate description of what the parts look like. So the first thing you're gonna do is put your little note down there with your name and the date on it. You're gonna take a picture of all the parts. And then you're gonna do the close-ups. You wanna make sure that you have any part numbers that are visible, you have a picture of so that the, the person purchasing the parts can look it up and make sure that these will work with their vehicle. We'll get close and get some part numbers. Now that you have your pictures, it's time to box them up and get them ready to sell. Oftentimes it's going to be difficult to find a buyer locally. If you're going to have to ship the package, you want to do it to the best of your ability because so much can go wrong. We all know when we receive parts from UPS, the boxes are torn and ripped. What you're going to want to do is go down to your local shipping store and purchase peanuts, bubble wrap, styrofoam, whatever you have to to secure the suspension parts or whatever you're selling in the box so they don't move around and have a potential to get damaged. This is something you don't want to skimp out on. Remember, these people are paying you for parts. They're taking a risk on used parts, and you want to make sure that when they receive them, they look the best that they can. Now that the parts are all packaged up and they're ready to ship, there's one last thing to do. You want to supply the buyer with a tracking number so that it will let them know when the parts leave your house and are headed to their house, so that in just a few days, they'll be able to unpackage their parts and enjoy them just like you did. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. If you have a question or comment, leave those down below. I love reading them and I love to reply to you guys. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe. Along with how-to videos, I do vlogs, the occasional hoonage and the Focus ST and also my Mustang, take out the drift events and the drag strip, things like that, so it's pretty fun. So go ahead and hit subscribe so you can see more videos like that. Other than that, it's been Sean or Mustang09, and we'll catch you boys later. Take it easy, boys.